Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can sum up numbers in Microsoft Flow. So I previously did a video where we took a look at how we can create PDF invoices with word connectors in Flow. And with that, we were able to take our invoice data in SharePoint and create PDFs with that data. But what we didn't do in that video is create a total for our invoice amount. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can sum up our amount column in Microsoft Flow. So let's head over to Microsoft Flow and create a new flow. And we're going to do an instant one. So we're just going to use the Microsoft Flow button to trigger our flow. And we're also going to have an input. So we're going to get the invoice number. And the first thing we're going to do is get our list items from SharePoint. And we can choose our site address and our list in that site. And we're also going to do some of the advanced options. So we're just going to filter our SharePoint lists down to just the items for a particular invoice number. So our invoice number is in a column called invoice, but that's actually the title column in SharePoint. So it's the first column in my list of data and that's referred to by title. So we're going to filter on the title being equal to and in single quotes, we're going to add our invoice number in there. Now, the next thing we're going to do is set up a couple variables. So as of right now, I just want to point out, you would think that Microsoft Flow would have some ability to sum up items in an array. But if we look in the data operation actions, we don't have anything like that right now. So what we actually have to do is loop through our array and add items as we loop through. So instead we're going to create some variables. So we're going to initialize a variable and this one we're going to call temp total and it's going to be a floating point decimal. And we don't need to enter an initial value here. And we're gonna create another variable. And this one will be our actual total. And it's also going to be a floating point. And now that we've got those variables initialized, we can go ahead and loop through our items from SharePoint. So we're going to use the apply to each step. And in there, we're going to have our values from SharePoint. And now we're going to use the set variable action. So the first thing we're going to do is set our temp total. And we're going to use an expression for this. So we're going to have to use one of the math expressions. If we scroll down, there's an add function. We're going to use that. It's a pretty simple function. It just adds two numbers together. And the first item we're going to add is from our list of SharePoint items. So we're going to get our items and we're going to get them from the apply to each step. And in there, the column we're interested in is the amounts column. And so that's the first item in our add function and the second item in our add function is going to be the total variable. And I'm 
we're just going to copy this because sometimes formulas don't stick in Microsoft Flow. And I'm going to come back here and check and make sure that what I added there is still there. That looks good. And now we're also going to set our total variable. So we're going to set our total variable this time. And here we're just going to set it to our temp total. So that's it for our loop. And now we just want a way to see that number. So I'm just going to email myself the number. So let's send an email. And I'm going to send it to myself. And I'm kind of lazy, so I'm just going to show the total in both the subject and body and nothing else. And let's just save that now. And maybe let's also give it a better name. And let's save. And now let's test this out. So we'll perform the trigger action. So we'll be able to supply the invoice number. And let's try out our first invoice number. And let's run that. And everything ran successfully. Let's head over to our email and refresh that. And there's our email with our total amount in it. So 5,639. Let's just check our SharePoint list. So uh, the first Four items here in our list are for invoice one. And if we look at the amount, it looks like that's the correct number. So that's how you can add up numbers in an array in Microsoft Flow. There's no option for that in the data operation actions. So you're going to need to loop through your array and add items that way. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future videos like this one. That's it for this video. See you guys next time.